Can one minute make a difference? We think it can. Here's your black keys for the week. But how many of you know that God has greater things for us than what we allow him to move and stir in our life? He's got greater things, greater things for me. And, and unless I'm willing to step out in faith, unless I'm willing to operate in not my realm, but God's realm, I'll never experience the God of the supernatural. I'll never experience God as my provider. I'll never experience, you know, great things. And, and you hear of stories and you read of stories of churches and, and individuals who experience this. And man, I would love, man, I mean, I would love to experience that. I don't know if we're really willing to do what is required to experience the God of the supernatural. Because we're not willing to abandon the logic and abandon the reason and abandon all the rationale in, in that. And again, again, I, I can't, can't answer all the questions now. And I'm not talking crazy. That's not what I'm talking. I'm really, the heart of what I'm talking about is where God wants to take us as a church. And it's going to take a supernatural provision of God supernaturally financially, supernaturally in our prayers because there's an enemy that wants to stop and destroy. And, and I told you a little bit about that a couple weeks ago. It is unbelievable. And so it's gonna require those things. It's re gonna require us stepping out into the unknown. And so that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about let's just do crazy for crazy's sake because that doesn't accomplish anything. But I wanna do crazy, crazy things for God, when he leads, when he directs us, and it's moving us forward, then I'm willing to stick, stick my neck out and say, this is what I feel God is speaking. This is what the council of witnesses around me say. They are in agreement. We believe this is what God's plan and purpose is for our church, and we are taking a step forward.